Hello, it's Wiz Faded here, and welcome to the second stage of the Twitter Fans Tips 10. And I'm so excited because I just watched the first stage, and it was amazing. I really liked that stage, except for the crash and the bus and everything that happened. But the winner, I'm so excited. I'm a big fan of Muscle Kill, so congratulations to him. And if you're interested in the standings, they will be in the comments within the next hour. So come back in an hour and look at the comment section, and you should see the standings. On to the question. You need as much time as possible. This time, the submissions will close at tomorrow when the, when the stage starts. So you have until tomorrow around 11, I believe it is. Okay, first question. Who do you think is going to win the second stage this year? It might be a sprinter, it might be a puncher, it might be a mountain guy, you never know. Who do you think is going to hold the yellow jersey after stage 2? It's going to be a tough one because do you think Muscle Kill can keep it on the second stage? It's up to you. If you believe in him, you believe in him. I definitely believe in him. How many riders will be in the breakaway? This time you have to answer with a number, like 1, or 2, or 3, or 4, or 5, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Who do you th how many people do you think is going to be in the breakaway? In a stage like this, there's probably going to be a lot of people, just warning you. Who do you think is going to be best placed in the stage? Greipel or Cavendish? This is not probably not going to be a sprint, so that's why this one is really interesting, because who's going to do the best over the mountain? It's up to you to decide. Who do you think is going to be best placed in the stage? Philip Schilbert or Sylvain Chavanel? Both these two guys are the same caliber, both really good punches, but they're both helpers. So who do you think is going to be best placed of those two? Then, best placed in the stage, Jacob Fultzang or Janovic Brakovic. Both of them are set to be the captains on Astana, but tomorrow is the first time we'll see who'd really be the captains. So, so that's one to really keep an eye on. Who do you think is going to be best placed between those two? Then, who do you think is going to be best placed in the stage, Christopher Froome or Contador? Both of them lost time, I think, on the first stage. So let's see if anyone will gain time. Actually, they didn't lose time because they got neutralized, but they both fell behind. So we'll see one, which one of those two does the best. Who do you think is going to be best placed in the stage? Simon Jarens or Johnny Hugeland? Johnny Hugeland had a crash in the, in the first stage, so he might not be up to date, but we haven't seen much of Simon Jarens anyway. So will Hugeland come back and be really angry, be really strong, or will Simon Jarens just cruise to victory? Who do you think is going to own the mountain jersey after stage 2? On the second stage, there will be four, four different mountain climbs, and that will be up to you to decide which one is going to be the mountain jersey owner on those four climbs. And last but not least, will anyone crash? This is just a yes or no question. After seeing all, the, all that mash sprint, it's up to you to decide, will there be another crash in stage 2, or will they ride more carefully? Thank you guys for watching. Come back in an hour to watch the comment section and see what the standings are. Thank you guys for participating.